Hello and welcome to New York Times Hard to Doggo. Today is February the 11th, 2023. Well, a three certainly must go in one of these two squares up here. And uh, therefore, all of these five squares are blocked by threes coming from across here and the three blocks up here. So this is a, a three. Three digits missing now from the row and they have to be a uh, one, eight and a seven. And we can't place them. But I can see the two nines here, blocking down here and here, and the nine blocking across. That makes this in line. The six is blocking across and this six is blocking across. So one of these must be a six. And because of this is six blocking here, the six must go in this square. I'm making a note of the one blocking up here and the one blocking across here. So one of these must be a one. It's not important right now, but it uh, will be important later on. I'm also seeing the one blocking down here and the one blocking over here. So one of these two squares must be a one, and therefore one of these two squares must be a one. A five must go in one of these two squares because this five is blocking over here and the five here is blocking down here. So one of these must be a five. And therefore again, one of these must be a five. And I also see that one of these must be a five because we got these two fives blocking down and this five blocking across here. There are no sevens in this grid as a gibbons. I'm noticing the four under five logging here and the four under five logging here. So these two cells must be a four and a five. And given the six blocking up here and the six blocking down here, that makes this a six. So four, so four under five, four under five, we still need to find a three, seven, eight, and a nine. The nine must go in one of these squares and we have a nine blocking here. So all of these squares are blocked by nines and this square is blocked by this nine here. So this must be a nine.
And since these are four under five, and we've got an eight blocking over here and an eight blocking over here, one of these must be an eight. The five blocking over here and the five blocking over here and the five blocking up here makes this a five. Therefore, this cannot be a five anymore. It must be a four, making this a five. Now, these two fives block over here, the five blocks down here, making this a five. We got the force blocking over here like this, therefore this must be a four. What does that leave us? That leave us with a seven, six, and an eight for these three cells. There's a six here, so one of these is a six. And therefore, one of these here must be a six. Oh, hang on. No, I thought I spotted something, but I don't and we still don't have a single seven in the grid. I'm noticing now the two blocking up here and the two blocking across here. So one of these must be a two. We also have a two here. So we need to find a two in one of these three squares and uh, these two are blocked by these twos here. So this is a two. And because we have this a two blocking over here, we know that one of these must be a two. We also have a two here. So we need to find a two for one of these three squares. And we have a two blocking here. And we have got a two blocking here. So this must be the two. Four, seven, and an eight now for these three squares. Four must go here or here. That much is clear. The six is blocking over here. The six is blocking down here. One of these is a six. Therefore, one of these must be a six. The one blocks down here and the one blocks over here. So one of these is a one. So we got a one and a six in two of these three squares here. I'm wondering what the third digit is going to be, but it's not quite clear yet. I'm trying to find a three for this row six, but I can't. Oh, but hang on, there's a six coming over here and a six coming down here, so this is a six. A three, seven, eight now here in this column. We got a three blocking here, we got a three blocking here, so a three should go here, I'm sure. Now a seven and an eight. I've been staring myself blind at the threes without noticing that three blocks down here and the three blocks up here making this a three. Sometimes you just have to keep staring and maybe walk away from the puzzle for a minute or two. And I just did that because I got my coffee and I found the three. And that puts a three up here because now these two squares are blocked by this three over here. So this is a three. And we got these two threes blocking down here and we got two threes blocking over. So this is also a three. 
We just need one more three, I think. We got the three blocking over here and the three blocking over here, making this a three. And yes, we got all the threes now. I'm still looking for a seven, eight here and here. But now we are only dealing with two squares here. They have to be a seven and a one. That means that the seven can't go here or here, and therefore it must go here. This must now be a nine. So these two must be a nine and a eight. We've got a nine blocking. So this is a nine, this is an eight. This was a seven one, making this one over here a two. And these two now must be a seven and a six. Six coming down here. No, I still am not sure whether a six must go down here. I don't know where I got that idea from earlier. But I'm probably going to find another way to solve this puzzle that by guessing that a six will go here. So what's happening down here now? Uh, seven, eight, and a four. That's still not clear. But I think I've ignored the fact that the five, six here and the five, six here put a five and a six in these two squares. And there's a five blocking here. So this must be a six and this must be a five. And now I am sure that one of these must be a six. And I'm also sure that the other one must be a one because we got a one six blocking over and we've got a one six blocking down. So these are ones and sixes, right? And having found the one here, we know that this is going to be a one because the one is blocking down here, right? So this is a one. And that makes this a one. And I think that is an important one because now this is a one and we just need a seven and an eight for these two squares. Seven and eight seem to be the theme for this puzzle. These two squares must be an eight and a, and a three. These two squares must be an eight and a two. And therefore this must be a seven. That makes this square a seven. We are only missing one digit now in row three, and that is an eight. And remember how these were seven, eight pair. And now this is a seven, eight, four, and a nine for these three empty squares. There's an eight here, so this must be an eight. And these are now four and nine. And we know that this or this had to be a nine. So now the nine goes here and the four must go here, making this a four. This square must be an eight now, therefore this is a four. A seven, eight here, a seven, eight here, and for sure not a seven, eight here. So we'll figure out soon enough, I guess, what it's going to be. Two and seven here. Four and nine here, there's a nine in the row, making this a four, and this must be a nine, therefore. Now we got these two fours blocking up here. We got the four blocking across here, making this a four. One and a seven here now, but there's a one in the row, making this a seven and this a one, and therefore this is a seven, making this a seven and making this a eight. Therefore, this is an eight. And I predicted that this would not be a seven or an eight, and it's not, it's a one. This must be a seven, and this must be a two, making this a two, and making this a eight. That was a quite a nice puzzle today from the New York Times. It was a hard version, but 
not that hard. The previous days were much more difficult. Thank you for watching and bye for now.